Hi all. In this video, let's discuss why and how to use big int in JavaScript. So usually in uh, programming languages like Java, the data types would be different. Like uh, we have integer to represent the whole number and we have float to represent the float value number. So there would be two different uh, types of data, data types to represent the whole number and decimal numbers in other programming languages. But as compared to that, JavaScript is bit different. So we have only number data type in which int and float values would be represented both. So before we need to uh, learn about big int, we need to understand what all the problems we have with number data type. So number, as we discussed, we have only this number data type which holds int and float values. So even if it has int value, it internally stores it as a double. I mean, it is it stores like a float value and it will give 64 bit memory. So it is like a static memory allocation, even if it is a float value, double value, or if it is an integer value, it used to allocate the static 64 bit memory. So that's the memory part, which is a, one of the drawback we can consider that. And the second point we need to understand is, so number dot max safe integer. So what does it mean exactly? It is a value 2 power 53 minus one. So that's the maximum safe integer value of a number. Uh, let's discuss what is this problem exactly. So if I print this value, we'll be getting a number like this. So usually we'll be having a number straightforward, but uh, as per the representation, we have used underscore numeric separator. So usually this is a value we get when we use number dot max safe integer. So when you increment it with one, you'll be getting at last you can observe 991, 992, okay? So if you again increment it with two plus two, I'm trying to do just I have incremented with one and now I'm uh, adding I, again two. So if you see both the numbers are same, double nine, two, double nine, two. So the number is double nine, one. If I add one, we need to get double nine, two. If I add two as well, if I'm getting the same value, this is because this is an unsafe integer. Once after this max range was reached, all the results which are produced would be an unsafe integers. It means the values which we use by these values will be misleaded. There would be like a calculations mismatch because it crossed the maximum range limit. So that's the reason if you observe here, the safe integer plus one and the safe integer plus two both remains uh, results into the true value because it is uh, uh, understanding both the values as same value. So that this is also the second drawback we have with the number data type. So before having this, I mean, before we are uh, coming to the big big int, we have some other alternatives to solve this problem. So one of the alternative would be storing the numbers as an integer and like strings. And the other alternative is using the third party libraries. So now we don't need to uh, bother about those things using third party libraries or converting the numbers into the string to maintain the number in the same way. Now we have begint. Begint will solve all these problems like uh, the memory problem, what we have discussed here, and also the unsafe integer handling. Both these two problems would be handled by big integer. So let's learn uh, its definition. So we have big int to represent the whole number which are greater than 2 power 53 minus 1. It means all the numbers which are greater than this max safe uh, integer. If you get any max safe integers, then this big int is there for us to handle those unsafe integers into the safe integers. So usually where we use these uh, big int is in the financial projects or in the scientific uh, calculation projects. So there we use this big int more. So uh, let's learn, uh, we have understood why why to use this begin? So let's now try to understand. We'll try to understand how to use this begin. So these are the three different ways we can define the big int. So the first way is give the number, whichever number you want, and just append n at the end. So now it becomes an big integer. So this is the first way and the best way we use. And the second one is using the big int constructor, where you need to give the value in the string. And this is a second way of uh, declaring a big int. And coming to the third way, so you can also declare the directly big int with the number. 
so this is same as 10n appending n at the end so these are the three different ways we can declare a big int so for suppose if we try to give a float value with n so it throws an error this is a range error if we try to do this we'll get a range error because as per the definition if you go back to the definition big int we represent only the whole numbers not the decimal numbers we need to understand that only the whole numbers not the decimal numbers so that's the reason when you declare 1.5 n 1.5 n is not the whole number it is a decimal number so that's the reason when you are trying to give n i mean you are trying to make this as an uh, big integer so it, we it would be an uh, range error it throws an range error it is not allowed okay so also we can give the negative numbers as well so i have minus at the beginning even though it is it is valid because our whole numbers uh, can be a uh, negative as well so coming to this one this one also is not valid as per the declaration 1.5 is in a float value and we will only mention the big integers for whole numbers so that's the thing it will also throw the range error so coming to the comparisons between the big int and number usually we should not compare big int and number because both are two different types for example type of a here here uh, we can understand 11n it means it is a big integer so now we if you type type of a then it returns big integer now uh, and now b is it normal number the type of b is a normal number so uh, there is no point to comparison the big int and number so if you try to compare that with a triple equal to it will result false if you try to compare that with a double equal to of course it returns to true so that's the one point we need to understand here and coming to other points like uh, we can also have the arithmetic operations to the big int so if i add 11n plus 12n it results into 23n we can do that but we can't mix the big int and number so here 11n is a big int plus number this is a normal number type so when we try to mix both of them and we try to do any arithmetical operation then it results into the type error so this is not valid here so even if you want to do this so then we can convert one of the type into the other type for example now we have big int 1n and normal number as 2 so if you want to convert uh, if you want to add both the numbers as we discussed this is not valid one it will be throwing a type error even though it we can do that by converting here so now i am uh, adding big int and i am converting this number into a big int so that's the reason here we are not getting any type error we are getting 3 as a value also we can convert this number into big int number of big int so now we are converting this 1n into number and number as it is and we are uh, able to add this both the numbers but we need to understand here one point so all the type conversions are very silent so here you are converting something so it would be very silent and no error would be prompted for us so that's the and also some of the values should be truncated so that's the reason we may not get the same result as expected so it's good not to combine the arithmetical operations with big integer and the number so if it is necessary you can do with these uh, conversions big int converting a number into big int or converting a big int to a number so you can use this conversions so ideally this is not the best practice uh, but uh, but uh, we need to be careful while doing this so coming to the next point so unary operator it means uh, uh, unary operator is not supported to the big int Uh, for example i am writing one n here if i do plus at the beginning it will throw an error because usually we use this plus symbol to convert a string into a number we use this unary operator in front of a number integer uh, like uh, let me show you an show you an example like this so if i give 10 like this so again i can convert this like plus a if i give plus a here in the console i will be getting the output as 10 number 10 so usually we use plus at the in front of any value uh, to convert this string value into the number value so that's the reason there would be uh, ambiguity or confusion so this unary operator is not allowed in the big integer so that's the reason and that is the one point we need to remember here for big int so coming to this big int of true so if you give big int of true it it is always equal to 1 n 
so these are the points we need to understand regarding the big integer uh, why we are using big int what are the problems we get with the number and what are the ways we have declared with the big int and all, all other options like automatic operation comparisons and uh, also type of unary operator should not be used uh, all these things we need to learn and understand with the big int so hope you understand the video if you have any doubts or if you need any clarifications on any of other javascript topics or uh, javascript related framework topics please comment below the video i will try to pick that uh, questions and i will try to make a video in my upcoming videos thanks for watching